The goal of emotional enrichment can't be summarized in a very short period of time. It's a complex interaction between uh, the keeper, trainer, behaviorist, and uh, the animal. Here you're seeing how you can do it with protected contact. Uh, this tiger uh, came to us having been uh, confiscated at the border of uh, Mexico. Somebody was trying to smuggle him into, the, into Mexico to sell to a drug dealer. So he's had a pretty bad uh, upbringing before we got him. Uh, and, and so the way we work with these uh, animals, and you can do this in a protected contact uh, mode as well as a, a free contact, is develop a relationship with them sufficient to create a bond of support and trust uh, and security between the uh, human and the animal so that you relieve their stress and their uh, anxiety and their agitation uh, around their human caregivers. Uh, I'm gonna walk over here now. He's just getting a drink of water. He'll come back to me. Uh, hi, daughter. Hi, daughter. Hi, sweetheart. Good boy. Good boy. So you see, even within a protected contact uh, mode, we can create this bond that uh, transcends the difference in species so that uh, he's comfortable and seek and he obviously sought out my presence. I have no reward, no food reward except emotion. And that's the basis upon which emotional enrichment is based. It's primarily emotional reward only, not, uh, not any other type of uh, artificial reward. Hi, darling. Hi, big boy. Hi, sweetheart. Good boy.